Hello and good day, meteorologist Mike Adcock with an update on Tropical Storm Gameki, located in the Philippine Sea. This is also being referred to as Luis by the Philippines, uh, and this briefing is based on the 9 Zulu JMA advisory from the 12th of September. Take a look at uh, satellite imagery. We do see a much better defined system than we had 24 hours ago. Uh, convection is really starting to deepen, uh, especially the central convection, starting to see that really consolidating actually on the, on the last few frames there, you do see a, a blow up of convection right over the center of circulation. Um, take a look at uh, basically a one Zulu um, ASCAT imagery. We did see the wind field expanding up a bit um, 25 knot winds or greater, really starting to uh, get some a good handle there in the northern and northeastern sectors. Uh, didn't see any tropical storm force winds at that time, but um, based on the satellite uh, signatures since then and Dvorak estimates, uh, it does support tropical storm strength at this time. JTWC and NESDIS right now going six and seven tenths respectively on the convection wrap, which uh, both shake out to about T3.0. Um, the latest information from JMA, this is as of 5 p.m. Philippines time, center of circulation was located 710 kilometers east of Varak or about 1,060 east of Metro Manila. It continues to move off to the west at 22 kilometers per hour, winds steady right now at 65 kilometers per hour with gusts up to 95 and our pressure at 998 hectopascal. I do have some public storm warnings right now it being issued from Pagasa. A signal one is in effect for Catatuanes. Uh, that's sh uh, indicating 30 to 60 kilometer per hour winds in the next 36 hours. Uh, those residents there in the lower line and the mountainous areas there in Catatuanes uh, need to be on the lookout for possible flash floodings as well as landslides. Uh, we are seeing some moderate to heavy rains with this system. Um, but don't you know folks in Luzon don't quite focus solely on this one or it won't be just the folks in Luzon focusing on this one um, you know those in Mindanao as well as the Visayas you're gonna have to keep an eye on this as well as this system approaches this is going to enhance the southwest monsoon so uh, moderate rains the thunderstorms across the, the Visayas as well as the Mindanao uh, will be expected over the next several days uh, of course, continue to monitor the progress of the storm and stay posted uh, to the latest advice by your local officials uh, as Luis approaches. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the big picture. Do see uh, Gameke there uh, approaching the Philippines. Uh, this is starting to pinch off. Uh, we had some uh, the subtropical ridge well off to the east. Still, still a steering influence, but it is getting pinched off thanks to the frontal boundary there to the southeast of Japan. Uh, really, this is uh, the bayou boundary reestablishing itself. Um, this feature, coupled with lower pressure over the sea of, uh, South China Sea and interior China, that's going to help influence the storm a little bit poleward. So looking for more of a west-northwestward motion toward Luzon over the next few days. And you see this here on the uh, six Zulu surface analysis from JMA. There is that frontal boundary there off to the north. Uh, lowered pressure, that's just kind of helping to influence some slight poleward motion. And as a result, uh, as we look over on the uh, JMA forecast track at, at nine Zulu today, um, that continued northwestward or, or west-northwestward uh, motion should continue till landfall. Uh, right now, JMA is looking at landfall there in Isabella province. Uh, right now, as a severe tropical storm, they are the weaker of the agencies, and they've been kind of uh, um, a little conservative uh, with their with their forecasting. You know, since the very beginning, all the agencies were calling this a tropical depression, while JMA is still calling it a, a low pressure area. So we'll have to continue to monitor how they handle this system. Uh, Taking a look at some of the other agencies, Pagasa, uh, again, pretty much on point with the landfall there in Isabella uh, province. Um, and then taking a look at JTWC's track, they're a little bit further south. This is really toward Northern Aurora where they make landfall as a typhoon uh, right now about 85 knots. Uh, for landfall there. Um, now, the interesting thing 
with this southern shift and that's just based on some model guidance uh, right now JTWC is the southern most agency as you see here on this uh, multi-agency track uh, image almost everybody's going for Isabella uh, province um, now looking at the models it's very clear to see why a lot of your major models are going for uh, Isabella Isabella um, now this is just a, a select few models uh, from 18z did get to see the uh, the image that JTWC uses uh, that has a few more models and you know it was interesting that the camp that you're seeing here this northern boundary the Isabella um, group uh, they're really the northern outliers you do see a lot more models developing here uh, a little bit further south so um, anybody really from Kazon uh, through Aurora and Isabella you're definitely gonna have to monitor the progress of the storm uh, over the next few days we'll see how the models do shake up uh, in terms of intensity pretty much everybody's on board with this becoming a tropical or a, a typhoon um, again I, I see JMA being on the uh, conservative side but pretty much everybody's looking at you know the equivalent of a category one or category two typhoon uh, using the sapphire simpson hurricane scale so um, do see some intensification continuing on uh, whether this is going to be an explosive major typhoon we're going to have to continue to monitor that uh, you know we have seen a, a pretty good in my opinion uh, development over the past 24 hours to so see if this continues to hold up over the next 24 as well in terms of uh, surface weather plots though really not much to talk about here it is kind of the caught there in the philippine sea so really not much data on this system one thing i do want to point out though if you look toward palau and yap nose pressures there thousand eight thousand nine almost thousand ten hectopascal uh, whereas over toward the Philippines, you're seeing much lower pressure, um, 1,000, 7,000, 6, even some uh, sites showing 1,005. And that's just going to help influence this storm toward Luzon, especially again toward Isabella and Aurora pre, uh, provinces. So uh, we'll definitely continue to monitor the progress of this system. Keep it tuned over to westernpacificweather.com as we continue to post updates. You can also follow along on the social networking sites. They're listed below. And uh, join in on the conversation at storm2k.org. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Be safe out there. Have a great day and take care.